Ground through the feet. Start lining everything up. All right, let's remember where our feet go right under us, right? And hip width distance apart. Okay, so if you put your hands on your hip uh, bones right here and you point your fingers down, that's where your feet belong. So this isn't really hip width distance, okay? So we, we can use the hands to line things up here. Now let's get the feet nice and grounded. Lift your toes for a moment. Press through the uh, big toe mound, outer heel, inner heel, little toe mound. Spread your toes out and bring them back down. And now we're nice and super grounded here. Okay, start to line everything up. Hips over ankles, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders. Palms forward, heart open, and breathe. So first we work to just smooth out and settle the breath. And now let's go ahead and deepen it, exhaling. Belly button to spine, releasing, and then inhaling through the nose, deep into the belly. Let everything expand with the breath. Exhale and soften. Inhale, expand. And just do that two more times. And then just come back to your natural breath. And we'll deepen now with the arms. So turning your palms out, exhale, and then as you inhale, ground through your feet, draw the arms up, inhale, tap the palms, turn your palms away from each other, and exhale, hands down. Now we're gonna think about the spine the whole time we're doing that. So Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching up, 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 keeping the shoulders away from the ears, but drawing the spine longer. Now turn your palms away from each other, and as you exhale, think about the crown of your head going toward the sky and the spine getting longer still. Okay, so two more times with that on your own. Your own pace here and we'll all meet back in mountain pose. All right, let's just move around, shake things out, get those knees and hips moving, arms, and we'll work our spinal series here, okay? So let's do a nice expansive cat and cow. Hands to the thighs, round forward, exhale, and then inhale, arms up and back, shine your heart up, and exhale forward. So we're trying to be really big in our movements here, yep. Whew. And the next time your hands are on your thighs, just hold here and then roll up to standing. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, whenever you're done. Of course, we're always going at our own pace. Now we're going to ground through those feet again, finding all four corners of the feet, making the toes wide, pressing everything into the mat as we start our side to side. Bring your arms up, take your right wrist in your left hand, shoulders down from the ears, and tilt to the left. Stretching that right side, switch sides, left wrist. 
and just go ahead and take yourself side to side, warming up the body with this movement, right? You're being guided by your body, when to go deeper. And the next time you're over to the left, stay here and then extend both arms parallel to the earth. Press away through your left fingertips and make sure your right foot is still in good contact with the earth. Now take your right shoulder back, heart shines up. Come center and up and bring it over now to the right. Stay here, the left foot is grounded. Arms extend, press away with the right. Left shoulder back, heart opens. Inhale and exhale, bring it down. All right, shake it out. Okay, so we're gonna move into some twisting. So take your feet wider than hip width distance. We're gonna be nice and loose here. Left hand over to the right, right hand to the left, and just side to side, reach and reach. And then you can start reaching a little closer toward the earth, as far as you want, as close, as high as you want or as low as you want. Reaching toward the earth, start bringing it back up, and we're gonna start reaching toward the sky. And then take it back to center, and three, and two, and one. Ooh. All right, come on back to mountain pose here. Okay, so remember, we, we're talking about the July poses of the month, Tadasana. So we're gonna come into that, yes, Tada. So let's come into it from a forward fold. Float the arms up, inhale. And then we fold forward. Remember, we're folding from the hip creases as far or as little as you want to go. All right. And now, as you inhale, take your arms out and up, coming to standing tall with your arms up, feet grounded. Tadasana. And release, shake it out. Alrighty, so let's work our way down to the earth here. So we're gonna come to the top of the mat. Float the arms up, inhale. Exhale into your swan dive. Remember, we're folding from the hip creases, keeping it high or going low. Now bend at the knees and hips, shine your heart forward, half lift, sink through the knees and hips, bring your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're really focused on lengthening the spine here. Let's go ahead and bend the knees, shoot the hips up and back to where the wall and the ceiling meet, and then start to put Take your heels toward the earth. Whether or not they touch is not important. And now we'll pedal the feet, giving the feet a nice little massage. One heel down and hold. Other heel down and hold. Both heels down and hold. Let's try and get the knees to the mat at the same time. So really control, knees down, sit off to the side. Find seated mountain pose. Nice long spine here. Inhale and exhale, palms out by your side. Okay, so we're gonna work on feather breath, right? Imagine there's a feather on the top of your head. Inhale, float the arms up. Turn your palms out, exhale, press the crown of your head into that feather as you lengthen the spine even more. Tap the fingers down one more time. All right.
right, let's shake everything out. All right. So we'll go ahead and do some both tonight for our core work. So go ahead and bend the knees. Bring your feet to the mat. Arms forward. Okay. And we'll keep the feet down and just go back into core engagement and up. One more time like that. Back and up. All right, so that's always an option. You know that. We're going to take the right leg up now with the knee bent, arms are forward. So it's a half high boat on the right. We'll take it to low boat. Extend the leg, shoulders two inches off the mat, heel two inches off the mat, and come back up. Right foot down, left knee up, and low boat on the left, high boat, and release. All right, we're going to do it four times on the right, four times on the left. Remember, you can always keep your feet down, extend your leg. You can work with your knee up. Ready? Here we go. Low boat, high boat. Four times on the right. Low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, Guess what? We're going to add a canoe here. Low boat, arms overhead, canoe option, arms by your side, and come back up, high boat on the right, and release, shake it out. All right, here we go. Left knee, arms forward. Low boat, high boat. Low, high, low. High, last time for this low canoe option. Hands by your side and up and release. Whew, open and close. You guys starting to feel this? Anybody starting to feel it? All right. <laughs> okay, we're going to work with two legs, right? Remember, uh, we'll try it with double leg first all together, and then you'll decide if you're going to go back to a single side. Okay, here we go. Arms forward, two knees up, high boat to low and up and release. We'll do that four times. You can do two right, then two left, or you can do four with double legs. Okay, so here we go. High boat, low, high, low, high, Low, one more, high, low, take it high, and release, Whew, shake it out. All right, welcome back. So that was waking up the core, okay? And we'll go ahead and do, we'll do some standing obliques in a moment, okay? For now, we're going to move into the water wheel sequence and get those hips nice and open, so take it back. Hands by your side. Whew. Now your feet start out grounded, right? Remember to keep some attention in your foot that's on the mat. So in this case, we'll start on the right. So we're going to make sure the left foot stays grounded. Right knee in, point up, flex down, and go. And the next time your knee is in, hold it in, your right knee will reverse the water wheel, flex your right foot, flex out, point up, knee in, and keep going. Out and up and in. Are you thinking about your left foot every once in a while? Keep that left foot nice and grounded. The next time your right knee comes in, hold it in. Hold on to your right shin or your right hamstring and let that right knee come out to the right and back to center.
Now bring everything back to center. Let your left leg extend any amount. Take your left hand outside your right leg. Extend your right arm out from the shoulder. Now let your right knee come just past the belly button, feeling that nice stretch here in the IT band. The hips are both still on the mat. Now we're going to let the right hip come up and let that right knee come all the way over to the left, but the right shoulder is still in contact with the mat. Take your gaze toward your right fingertips. And then as you unwind, draw your right ankle across your left thigh, flex your right foot, draw your legs in toward you, hold on to your right shin, and move your legs side to side, forward and back, in a circle, one direction, and the other. And then just come back to center, extend your left leg, point and flex your left foot. Now cross tightly at the thighs, hold opposite leg with opposite hand, and continue to move your hips around. So at this point, you might be holding your ankles, you might be holding on to your thighs, whatever is accessible for you. Get a little motion in your hips, a little massage for your spine, come back to center, Release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Let your knees open and close, little gentle butterfly wings. All right, grounding through the feet. The right foot is planted. Left side, knee in, point up, flex down. Knee in, point up, flex down, keep going. And the next time your left knee is in, hold it in, flex your left foot, and we go out, point up, knee in. Flex out, point up, knee in, reversing the water wheel. Thinking about that right foot staying grounded. The next time your left knee is in, hold it in, hold on to your shin or your hamstring and let that left leg come out to the left and back to center. All right, now coming back to center, let that right leg extend any amount. Right hand outside the left leg, left arm extends out from the left shoulder. Keep both hips grounded as you draw your left knee just past the belly button. Now let your left hip come up as you take that left knee farther over to the left, keeping that left shoulder in contact with the earth, turning your gaze toward your left fingertips. And as you come back through center, the left ankle slides across the right thigh, left foot is flexed, legs come towards you, hold that shin, and move your legs side to side, forward and back. direction and the other and then coming back to center take your right leg straight up point and flex circle the ankle circle it the other way cross tightly at the thighs hold on and move those hips around. A 
Okay, release, unwind, two feet to the mat, little butterfly of the knees here, and we'll find our way to hands and knees. Okay, so we're in tabletop. Support your knees. Remember, your hands could be on a chair. You could do the standing at the wall, too. All right, our second pose of the month for July is this opposite arm, opposite leg. So let's do a couple here. Take your uh, right leg back to hip height, okay? And float your left arm up by your left ear. Try and distribute your weight between your left knee and your right wrist. You're not rocked to the right or the left. You're nice and steady here. When you bring your hand and knee down, get them to the mat at the same time. Here we go, left leg, right arm. If you know this, just do the leg and arm at the same time. If you want to do the leg first and then add the arm, you could do that. Think about being balanced on two points and then bring your hand and knee back down. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to do that one more time each side. Right leg, left arm. See if you can even lighten up a little by drawing in through the core, right? So make your core very active here and lighten up on the knee and the wrist. Hand and knee down, left leg, right arm. Load it up, engage your core. Good, and release. We're going to come into a knee down plank, do a push up, hips toward heels. And do that a couple more times. You could do knee up plank if you prefer. We're going plank, push up, hips toward heels. And child's pose. And from your child's pose, find your way into downward facing dog. So we want to be nice and even in the dog, right? The weight distributed between two hands and two feet. We want length in the spine. So we're more concerned about length in the spine than we are whether or not the knees are straight. So let's go ahead and bend the knees, take the tailbone up and back, and then with all that length in the spine, straighten the legs back any amount, heels toward the mat. And start to journey your feet towards your hands, taking them a little wider with each step until you wind up with your feet mat width distance apart by your hands. Bring your thighs, uh, bring your forearms to your thighs, bring your hands to your heart. Press through those feet. Inhale, fingertips up toward the sky. And as you exhale, feet together, step into a close mountain pose. Okay, with the legs touching. Ground through the feet again. And breathe. All right, let's shake it out. How's everybody doing? Are we good? So we're going to move into uh, sun salutation, right? And we'll be doing low crescent lunge, so make sure you have enough padding for your knees, okay? Whenever you need to, you can always flip up the edge of your mat if you need some padding for your knees, and that's what's available to you. Here we go, top of the mat. Take a few breaths. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, let's take a straight leg swan dive over those hip creases, really releasing through that lower spine. It could be high, it could be low. Keep your legs straight now for this half lift, shine your heart forward. Now bend at the knees and hips, bring your hands down. 
Step your right leg back. We're in that lunge. Left knee is over the left ankle. Bring your right knee down. Point the toes. Low crescent lunge. We want those hips to be moving forward so we get a nice stretch in the psoas. All right, let's bring the hands down and find your way to knee up or knee down plank. Wherever it feels better for you, chaturanga down. Now, without using your hands, just go ahead and find your cobra, shine your heart forward and release. Find your way to downward facing dog. So you could press back and up all at once. You could go table and then dog. Take your right leg up. Big step forward with the right foot, left knee down. Wherever you are, arrange yourself so that your left knee is behind your left hip. Your right knee's over your right ankle. Low crescent lunge. Hands down, now tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Engage all of your muscles and take a giant step forward with your back foot. Take a half lift, forward fold. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. Okay, we're going to add one little thing onto that low crescent lunge. You'll see what it is. Okay. Anybody need anything? Is everybody doing okay? You good? All right, let's float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a nice straight leg half lift. Bend the knees and hips, fingertips down. This time we step back with the left leg coming into that lunge. Coming into our low crescent lunge here. Left knee behind the hip. Here's our add-on. Go ahead and bring your hands down. Keep your left hand on the mat. Tuck your back toes. That would be your left toes. Lift your left knee and open up to the right. Bring your right hand down and step back, high or low plank. Chaturanga. Okay, we're going to take the hands a little below the shoulders now. Shoulders toward the ears down the spine. Use the hands a bit to shine the heart more deeply forward. A little extra lift here in the cobra release. Let's do that one more time. Cobra, shine your heart forward, release, hands back under the shoulders, down dog. Okay, so remember down dog, hands could be on the chair, right? They could be on the seat of the chair, they could be on the back of the chair. All right, from your down dog, you're taking your left leg up. Take a big step forward, bring your right knee down. So if you're standing, you're just going to bend your um, left knee here, okay? Low crescent lunge. And here comes our add-on. Bring the hands down, tuck your back toes, and lift your back knee as you open up to the left. Yeah. Bring your left hand down, take a giant step forward, half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center. All right, let's find mountain pose. And breathe. All right, so we're going to move into our oblique work right now, and then we'll just soften things up and start to wind it down. Okay, so let's take the feet about mat width distance apart with the toes facing out. Hands to the hips, and we bend and straighten. 
Now the feet are grounded, so when your knees come out, they're going straight through the center of your feet. The knees aren't doing this, right? Straight through, straight down. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and um, bend the knees. Bring the hands to the heart. And we're going to twist to the right and center, straighten the legs. Bend the knees, twist to the right, extend the arms, bring the hands back to the heart and stand tall. Same thing to the left, bend, twist, center and up, bend, twist, open arms, center and up. All right, so we're gonna combine the bending with the twisting and opening the arms. So knees bend, arms open to the right, center, to the left, center, to the right, center, to the left. We really have to think about those feet as we're doing this, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now we're gonna go to the right and stay, okay? And then bring the hands to the heart, open them up, bring them to the heart, open them up, bring them to the heart, open them up, come center and up. Same thing to the left, to the left, open, arms in, open, arms in, open, in, last time, open, in, come center, reach up, inhale, inhale, Tadasana. Shake it out. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and relax ourselves with some, uh, with a little warrior two, and then we'll start to work our way back down. So we're taking the legs super wide. Right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle. The feet are super grounded here. Right knee bends. It's over the ankle, shoulders over hips. Arms out from the shoulders, gaze past your right fingertips. Okay, so this is warrior two, of course. Let's move it just a little bit. Straighten your leg, bring your hands to your heart. Open back up. Straighten your legs. Open up. Straighten your right leg, hands to heart. Open up. One last time, hands to heart. Open up, settling in warrior two. All right, bring your hands to your heart, turn all 10 toes forward. Think about your hip creases and keeping your hips over your ankles as you start to fold forward. Okay, so you are going to stop with your head higher than your heart if you want, stop halfway if you want, keep going if you want, and release your hands to your legs. From wherever you are, release your hands to your legs. The head is in line with the spine. We're not looking forward. Now bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up from wherever you are. Press through the feet, come the rest of the way up. Inhale and exhale. Let's give those legs a break. So either just heel toe your feet together, hop them if you want, shake things out, open back up, getting ready for warrior two on the left. Left toes face left, right toes in at an angle, left knee over left ankle, shoulders over hips, arms in line with the shoulders. Arms are looking good here. Gaze past your left fingertips. Warrior two. All right, we're going to straighten the left leg, bring the hands to the heart. Open back up. Straighten and open. Straighten and open. Last time, straighten. Open and breathe here in warrior two. All right, 
bring your hands to your heart as you turn your toes forward. This time we're coming into forward fold, but a nice releasing forward fold. So let the knees and hips be soft. Just fold yourself forward and move around. Just find what feels good to you. Remember, you could be high up on your legs and doing this. You could have your hands on the mat. Just move around, move around. And then come back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up. Come the rest of the way up. All right, and find your favorite way to get your feet together. Shake things out, scan your body, see if anything needs to jiggle or wiggle or move. And we're going to start to work our way down. All right, we'll meet in mountain pose at the top of the mat here. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over those hip creases. Take a half lift. Bend everything, bring the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Now from your dog, go ahead and bring your big toes together. Take your knees to one side, hips to the other. And just go side to side. Okay, if your hands are on a chair, you could do the same thing. Wiggle your hips. Come back to center, bring the knees down, sit off to the side and find seated mountain pose. We'll take a breath here, maybe even two breaths. Now with your hands up, by your side, palms up, inhale, gently float the arms up and exhale, just melt into a soft forward fold. Bring your hands up your legs and one more time, inhale and melt. And we'll your hands up. Go ahead and bend your knees. We're taking it down to the earth. Feel yourself connected to the earth here. Inhale and exhale. We're moving into Apanasana. We're going to start with Ardha Apanasana. So extend both legs and both arms. Inhale, as you exhale, take just your right knee in. You might be holding your right shin, you might be holding the right hamstring. Just hold it in. Inhale and exhale. Extend your right leg, arms long. Inhale, exhale, this time the left leg comes in. Ardha Apanasana. Extend your left leg, arms up, inhale, exhale. This time, everybody, hold on to your hamstrings, okay? So your hands are right under your knees. Let your knees come away from your body, and then just go ahead and rock side to side. Give your spine a nice little massage here. All right, extend everything, arms and legs, inhale, exhale, draw your knees in, grab hold of your feet or your hamstrings and come into happy baby and massage your spine here, okay? So it's hard to get a spinal massage in the chair, but you can get a little bit of the extension, holding on to one leg, and then the other. Okay. All right, release from your happy baby. Bring your feet to the mat. 
Take your right leg straight up, point and flex the foot. Circle the ankle one direction and the other. Switch sides, left leg, point and flex. Circle and circle. All right, so let's find ourselves nice and comfortable on the mat. Take your fingers wide, stretch them out, and make a gentle fist. Stretch and gentle fist. And then rotate your wrists one direction and the other. Hands by your side, let your head move side to side. And come back to center. Now scanning your body from head to toe, take any final movements that your body is requesting as you start to align yourself for final relaxation. So move around, get super comfortable, nice and grounded. Decide where you're going to be for final relaxation. Inhale through the nose. And slowly exhale as you release your body onto the earth. And moving into your final relaxation. So slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body, wiggle fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, stretch everything long. Exhale and draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side. And gently back up to a nice easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.